So this is the first step of the four digit uh, Numatron clock build. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the USB type B connector on the on the board. Now you can uh, also get this board with the connector already mounted. It's probably the easiest option, but this is the shortest step of this build, but also maybe the hardest. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy on there and we're going to connect the plus five volt and the zero volt terminals to the tiny little terminals here. Okay, so the way I go around this is um, I actually use solder paste to um, mount the connector itself. Be careful not to put too much on at this point. And we're going to physically mount the connector first of all. So, and it will seat quite nicely in the holes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run a bit of solder in. So what we're going to do is we're going to run some solder into the, um, the holes and let them pick up from the other side with the solder paste. So we're just physically putting this connector in place first of all. And giving it plenty of time. So on the other side, we should find that the solder paste has melted. We'll give it a, another little touch. And that's physically mounted. We'll come back and put some more on afterwards. But for now, um, we've got the connector mounted. Okay. Giving it some extra uh, reinforcement. Okay. And then later we will put some more on the sides to make sure that it's really taken. This gets quite a bit of physical strain, so um, it's worth making sure that the connector is on properly. So I'm going to put some solder paste on the two pads there. And then we're going to attempt to attach the two electrical terminals without attaching anything else. So that looks, that looks hopeful. Very good. Let's give it a test. And now the way we test this is we'll actually put it onto um, continuity test. So buzz it out and check that's good. And we should find no continuity between zero and five volts. Okay. Very good. Now we'll finish the physical mountain. And to do that, we'll pop some more solder paste on these side contacts here and make sure that they've got a good, a good physical contact. This solder paste is getting very thick. Okay, so there we go. And all we'll do is we'll just run the iron into the corners there. Okay, a little bit more. You have to be a bit careful here to not not make the connector too hot, otherwise the solder will run inside and the plug won't go in. All right, that looks good. Let's give it a test. We'll give it some some five volts, and this time we'll put it on the voltage scale. So now we should be able to read plus five volts at the test point. leads are all tangled up. So in we go. And ground and plus five volts. Looking good. That's the first step.